Hello, my name is Brad. This is another Dragonfire 360 tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, something I'm excited to present to you, uh, a new Blender tutorial. Um, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to easily set up um, some sliders in your user interface panel over here, the, the properties panel, uh, that will control IK, FK uh, switches, um, and I'm going to show you how to do this with, without. I'm also going to show you, first of all, also uh, shape keys. You can control shape keys, as well as one of these bones is dri driven by a driver, and the other one is just by the um, a copy rotation constraint. And this one is set up actually as oh, this one here has a driver attached to it, and uh, but either way. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this with minimal Python coding. In fact, you shouldn't have to really code anything. And the reason why is because I have developed a new software that you can use in conjunction with Blender, and it's free to download. I will provide the link in the description. And that software is going to help you. It will do all the work for you. All you have to do is place some uh, minor details into your uh, into the program. And you can find the program at the, uh, this area right here. It's called visualbpy.zip. Like I said, uh, the link will be in the description. But just in case, um, I believe this link will take you there. It looks like. Uh, let me copy that and uh, paste it and go make sure that's the right. Yes. Okay. So, mediafire.com. Uh, forward slash question mark uh, small s two v v l q o f v three h e q t and six and that will get you to this uh, place where you can just go ahead and download this just click download it'll start downloading I don't know why I'm downloading because I am the one that uploaded it so let me go ahead and cancel that okay it's too late Anyway, download it, open it up, extract it, because it is a zip file. So go ahead and extract it and uh, save it to some place on your hard drive and just remember where it is saved. Okay, and once you extract it, um, you can go ahead and... Um, double click on setup and set it up don't worry about the other file th there there's two more files there um, just double click on setup and that will set up the program for you just very easily it may have to download some files from uh, Microsoft for um, if you don't have um, a service pack 2 on there that includes the um, database uh, um, Oh, uh, compact edition 3.5 then it will download that for you but it will do all everything automatically or it should and uh, um, it will install those things so just go say okay to those things to be installed and um, and then you can run the application um, let me go ahead and I don't know if I double click on this if it'll no uh, yeah there we go okay it'll run this application here and this is the a the new application I made and um, it it's uh, pretty extensive it will do everything for you it will you can add a panel a user interface panel and you can just drag and drop items like a slider button over and you can add rows as many rows as you want and just keep adding slider and add toggle add maybe another toggle maybe you give a label to it and call it toggle or no let's call it layers because that's usually what you, oh I put it on the wrong one uh, that's usually what you use toggle boxes for is on is for layers so just add a couple toggle boxes there and you got your uh, thing but 
Uh, I'm going to show you in more depth on other tutorials how to um, use this program. Right now I'm just showing you how to download it and what else to install. Now there's another thing. Uh, here's your code window. It shows all the code. Um, and you can put variables in here and things. And it, uh, Like I say, it's very easy. Um, I try to make it as simple as I could. And just click on Tutorials on the Help button, and it'll take you right to the tutorials. Um, and, uh, yeah. Okay, now, uh, the other thing you can do, too, I forgot, you can add icons to your... Um, it's got a list of all the Blender icons. Things like that. Now, the other thing you've got is there is an add-on, and that's Visual BPY underscore rig exporter. And what you want to do is you'll want to go into Blender, and uh, let's see, let's open up a new file, go up, go down to User Preferences, and once this loads up, go Install Add-on, and then just go to that directory. Um, and install this add-on visual bpy underscore rig exporter add-on dot py and just click install I've already installed it so I'm going to cancel that and I will show you uh, visual okay right there it is and it has the information in there my name uh, what it's for it's an uh, import export it's actually just an export um, and it exports the rig info okay Make sure you check that and have that on. And then when you, let's delete that and add a armature. And what that's for is when you have an armature selected, you just it will show up in the export right there, Visual BPY Rig Export. So under File, oops, under File, Export, and then Visual BPY Rig Export, if you click that, it'll t come up with a prompt you to save as a file, and you'll want to save it as whatever the name you want to save it as, and then .vpy. And once you do that, then if you hit save, if, then you can actually go down here and import .vpy. And you can search for a file to import, such as this one. Say open. And what it does is it loads all of the information, all the um, uh, bones that are in the rig as well as the rig name this first one is uh, the rig name Brad and then all the rest are the bone individual bones in the rig um, okay so um, that'll make it easier for adding um, uh, variables in the program and like I say it's very simple to do I've got a tutorial uh, right after this you can watch the tutorial after you don't download the program and install it and uh, you can w see how to do this uh, oh where was it it will I'll show you how to do this how you can make the shape keys and when you select a rig it pops up in the panel over here and it will drive the driver and uh, you can turn on and off bone layers as you see over here, okay. Anyway, you get the point. So, um, I think that covers everything, and I hope this program will come in handy for you. I think that uh, you'll once you try it out and once you watch the tutorial, uh, it's a three-part tutorial. Each part is 15 minutes or under, so uh, you should be able to follow along pretty easily, and hopefully this will make it easier for people that are not too familiar with uh, uh, Python. I wasn't too familiar with it myself, and I decided to start learning it because I wanted to get familiar with it, and then I decided that after I was learning some of it, I thought, well, it'd be nice to have something a visual aid to be able to put this together nicely so I don't have to keep doing it every time I want to um, make a rig and and put these buttons over here so I don't have to go through all this, typing all this stuff out. I mean, because who wants to do that all the time if it's going to be, you know, the same thing every time just about? 
So this will make it a lot easier. Okay, well, I will see you in the next tutorial, and I hope that uh, you can use this program to the fullest. And please remember to comment. Um, if you have any extra additional features you'd like to see, uh, you can comment in any of the, th the three or four videos, this video included. Um, and anybody that likes, uh, anybody that their comments get the most likes, I will consider those features, uh, I will put priority on those features. And if in the future I do get around to releasing a, a, a better version like I intend to do, I want to do, I find the time to do it, um, please uh, feel free to donate. There's a donate button on in the program. Click that and donate as much as you want or as little as you want. Uh, that way it can help fund this project and maybe I can uh, put some more time into it because right now uh, I've already spent two weeks on it and I kind of got to get back to uh, real work, <laughs> work that pays. So, All right, well, I hope you can enjoy it and I will see you next time.